What's going on guys, Zeus here, and this video is the first part of a new video series talking about the dangers of transhumanism. Now this video series was requested by a patron on my Patreon, and he wants me to talk about the multiple dangers and multiple topics that surround the movement or the idea of transhumanism. So, that being said, you know, let's, uh, let's get into it. A couple of things before we get started. Uh, this video series is going to be a lot different from uh, some of the other videos I've done. It's going to be quite challenging to me, particularly because um, as much research as I have put into transhumanism before I have done this video series, I, I did not think about it as complexly as I did prior to. Uh, most of the other topics I talk about um, literally have weeks of me thinking about them, uh, usually. Uh, it's usually a topic I've thought about for a long time, which is why I have come to the conclusions I have, which is partly why I had to take a brief hiatus in order to do the research to formulate my thoughts and opinions on transhumanism, as well as doing all of the research that will go into what we're going to be talking about today. So it's going to be a lot different than what I usually talk about. Usually I talk about society and relationships between men and women and psychology so but today we're talking about a new kind of ideology I, I've never touched before and we're going to be talking about this in a couple of future videos as well so I certainly hope you guys enjoy what we have to talk about uh, this video series I'm going to try to stay out of conspiracy theory territory uh, I don't like going into conspiracy theory territory because uh, the facts may always be there but the conclusions are not always concrete and you know, uh, it's not even just to look crazy, I just don't want to get to that area because then it becomes very ambiguous and it's not a concrete because it's conspiracy and I don't want to get in there, so I want to get into the facts of what is actually happening and talking about real genetic manipulation um, and talking about real uh, enhancements that are being planned that a lot of these different people like Ray Kurzweil is actually intending on planning to do, so real concrete uh, technological advances in the human body and we're going to talk about the effects that that will have on the human body so the first video here is going to be a foundational piece what is transhumanism now the interesting thing about transhumanism is that it is actually closely related to the ideology of humanism so uh, the definition of humanism is an outlooker system of thought attaching prime importance to human rather than divine or supernatural matters. Humanist beliefs stress the potential value and goodness of human beings, emphasize common human needs, and seek solely rational ways of solving human problems. So that's humanism, which is particularly why not all egalitarians are humanists. Humanism, egalitarian, and feminism are all very separate topics. So, uh, but uh, transhumanism takes that a step further. You know, so transhumanism is an international cultural and intellectual movement with an eventual goal of fundamentally transforming the human condition by developing and making widely available technologies to greatly enhance human intellect, physical and psychological capabilities or capacities. So uh, it's, it's very, uh, again, it's closely related but there, again, transhumanism takes humanism the extra mile, you know, where humanism is about, you know, uh, the human human conditions and trying to fix our problems, whatnot, by becoming together, you know, and, you know, believing in the great inherent value of being a human being, you know, uh, transhumanism is about transcending that with the use of technology, you know, and so... Again, they're they're not the same. I don't want anyone to come over and say that transhumanism and humanism are not the same, but they are closely linked together. And I just wanted to point that out. It's one thing I noticed during our research because a lot of uh, and, and of course it's not everyone, but a lot of humanists are very arrogant people. Uh, a lot of the humanists I see here on YouTube are very arrogant, and a lot of the transhumanists also share that arrogance, you know, to a different degree. Because when it comes to transhumanism, a lot of uh, these these proponents of it wish to incorporate technology into the human condition. They wish to literally change out our eyes and change out our, our, our arms for more, you know, robotic, more mechanical arms. Uh, 
upgrade our eyes so we can see different radio waves and radio species and they want to begin genetic manipulation to change our human condition entirely they want to go ahead and go as in I think the artificial womb is one part of transhumanism they want to be able to genetically manipulate our bodies all the way like before we're even born uh, and change the way that we are they want to make us stronger faster and better and smarter which you know of course this is why the video series is going to be focusing on the dangers of transhumanism because anyone who is a proponent of transhumanism will absolutely tell you all of the benefits and of course I mean they're trying to sell a product or they're trying to sell a business you know they're not going to talk about the dangers or the problems or the, the, the moral issues that come with it and why would they again their their job is to manipulate you into thinking that this is a great fantastic thing you know so this video is just more over the the overview of what it is and what they plan on doing I know I heard uh, the thing about and again I said one thing about a lot of these transhumanists are very arrogant people you know I watched different couple of documentaries where some of these people would even talk about trying to become gods and trying to live forever so they literally verbatim say I wish to uh, become a god or I will transform myself into a god you know and um, try to really incorporate really change their physiology and I think I, I saw this one man who um, trying to remember I, I watched the, there's lots of different documentaries out on transhumanism where this one guy actually um, incorporated I don't know if it was an RFID chip but he incorporated something into the palm of his hand and whenever he walked into his house the computer recognized it was him and opened all the doors and whatnot I'd have to go find that again you know but uh, one huge faction factor of transhumanism is incorporating technology into our human bodies into our human condition and really changing us with technology and there's a gigantic problem with that actually and there's lot there's lots of problems with it um, one gigantic problem that comes at the forefront to me personally really isn't a sacred religious problem um, because that's that's one issue of transhumanism that a lot of Christians would have but one problem is when you incorporate technology into our bodies we lose something very important and that would be our natural ability to adapt and heal and grow because if you switch out your arms or your legs for these ro robotic or mechanical pieces well then that means you know it's it's static you know it's only, you can only bench press a maximum of 500 pounds now you won't have to work for it no but that's it you're done you, you can no longer ascend past that you know and you become static and you may not have to worry about you know infections or disease but if that thing rusts if that thing gets broken you're gonna have to get it replaced somewhere you know effectively turning us into true objects you know I mean you hear objectification thrown at you all the time but I mean if you really change out the human body the human condition then you have really changed us and we've lost that ability to truly you know evolve you know um, the human body can adapt to a lot of different things with time and it kind of sounds to me that the the, the, the transhumanists they just are very impatient people and very arrogant people and they, they don't want to put the effort or the work of improving their bodies through you know natural exercise through you know natural martial arts because the interesting thing about it all is I mean you know there, there really isn't anything our human bodies have so much potential and so much power and all you really have to do is just use it you know to work work out and exercise look at Bruce Lee look at all the different monks in China you know um, that's all you have to do and they can be they're incredibly strong people and it just sounds to me that this transhumanist movement is just about you know you know uh, self gratification you know let's let's change our eyes out so we can see infrared rays for no for no reason really there's there's, there's no real reason to even go about incorporating this kind of technology into our bodies um, you just you're, you're going to have to mutilate your body to obtain something you can get with time and effort and I just feel that that's ridiculous um, and again you know if you change out any part of your body with machinery then you've lost your ability to adapt because now now you have to upgrade your body with the use of someone else because if you don't understand how this technology works and you're switching out your arms and your hands or something then you have effectively given someone a lot of power over your life you know now you have to go seek to them for a different upgrade instead of being in the comfort of your own home and exercising and that's you know again we we lose a gigantic part of being a human you know transhumanism I guess isn't really ascending humans but it's becoming 
a robot, you know, or not even a robot, but become a cyborg again who is restricted by technology. Of course, the promise of transhumanism is that you will ascend your movements, but that's just a bold-faced lie because the truth of the matter is you will actually become static in what you are, and you'll have to rely on other people continuing to upgrade you in order to be on par with them. You know, one gigantic problem, you know, just with that is the people who, who would not want to become transhumans you know um i heard a lot of different transhumanists in these different documentaries talk about how over time these people will be considered outsiders and how and again it's it's it, it is slightly religious I, I wouldn't even say slightly it is very religious you know uh, the transhumanists from what i've seen and that these people are um really you know really uh, are thinking that in in time you know in years like in 2045 um that they'll have all this different kind of technologies and that anyone who isn't a part of their movement will be looked at as not even human anymore but looked at beneath them because again verbatim i've heard these people shout and say that you know i wish to become like a god or be a god through this use of technology so uh, there's that part of transhumanism and then there's the other part of uh transhumanism and i think there's a part where you, i don't think these people will ever be satisfied i mean if you look at how we humans are with technology now we're constantly seeing upgrades happen. We're constantly seeing new things happen. Even with plastic surgery, I think I'm gonna. It's gonna come full circle. But just give me a second. If we look at how we are with our cell phones and our technologies, we're just never satisfied with what they are. We're constantly seeking to upgrade them. We're constantly seeking to change them. And the reason why I brought up plastic surgery is because this is surgery. It's usually women who do this, but some men do it too. But these people are never satisfied with what they have. They're constantly changing their bodies. Constantly changing the way their nose looks or the people who get obsessed with it at least there's some people who get like one nose job done and they're fine but there are a lot of people who are obsessed with this and specifically with technology you know people are never fine with what they have so if you incorporate this technology into our bodies and change our way i don't think people will be satisfied with it i think people are going to constantly try to seek to upgrade or improve and it's going to create a a an internal state of unrest in our hearts and in our souls you know that will never feel on par or good enough because there's another upgrade coming in and that's how uh, the corporations will have complete control over your mind and over your psyche they'll control your desire to upgrade and continue to upgrade if you do this at least that's what I think it can see and of course I mean we're, we're talking about slippery slope argument here maybe that's what well, this won't happen maybe it will I don't know but too many times has technology rapidly increased and we never talked about the dangerous effects. For example, if we look at cars, you know, uh, cars are great. Our entire world, our Western world, revolves around transportation now. But no one ever thought about the emissions that gas, that the gas produced or that the toxins produced from cars can destroy the ozone layer. No one thought about that. Now, of course, this isn't saying that we shouldn't do this, you know, but we have to think about the effects that it will have. So uh, I think that's one. I think that's why this video series should be made, and more people should talk about transhumanism from an honest point of view. And instead of just trying to make it sound great and futuristic, we need to talk about how this will affect the human body in some negative ways before we start tampering with our genome. So I guess so. That's pretty much it for this video. This is really just talking about the philosophy of transhumanism. In this video series, what we're going to cover, we're going to talk about the artificial womb. We're going to talk about uh, genetic engineering. We're going to talk about artificial intelligence as well. And uh, we're going to talk about some other stuff that I can't remember off the top of my head. But uh, there will be a couple of videos in this video series talking about the dangerous effects transhumanism can have on us. So hopefully this video has left you guys with something to think about. And uh, more videos should be coming soon. So uh, thank you so much for stopping by. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, man, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below, and as always, have a great day. I'll see you cool cats soon. Adios.